Morning, Dan here from BacchusWineOnline.com and I'm shooting this because my brother-in-law called me yesterday for the, to come over for the Super Bowl and he asked me to bring a corkscrew, which kind of got me thinking, you know, there's, there's a gazillion corkscrews out there. What corkscrews do you use? Uh, in particular, I'm going to show you a couple right now and then leave a comment, let me know what you use. But uh, start by this, this I found as a gift. This is a single pull. Supposedly it's supposed to glow in the dark. I'm not seeing it. I've never used it. I just pulled out of the packaging a minute ago. Um, this guy, the dual pole. I'm not a big fan of these. You see people struggle and can't get it off and it never goes down enough. You know, everybody has their own, own way of doing things. What else I got here? Um, this thing is what I traditionally use. Just regular, like something you'd see a waiter or waitress with a wine key. Foil cutter. It's nice and easy. Just leverage. Love it. Um, the travel corkscrew, this thing's great. You put it in with your toothbrush or whatnot, or you keep it in the side pocket of your car. Um, can't go wrong with this. Any port in a storm with this guy. Um, last but not least, you know, some people call it the rabbit, or, you know, whatever. Um, it's kind of fancy, it's got some good weight to it. You're not gonna really tote it around, it's more to put on your bar. I think it looks better than it really works, but everybody's different, like I said. Uh, nice little foil cutter on top of it, or accessory that comes with it. Uh, bottle stopper, and something to go around the neck of a bottle. Let's see. Something like that. So, and that's it. My name is Dan from BacchusWineOnline.com, and leave some feedback on what corkscrew corkscrew you prefer. Uh, one last one, this one. New York Wine and Culinary Center. Check that place out too. That was pretty neat. Nice little gift. But cheers. Have a great day.